Thank you, Obiju. Um, you know, we've mentioned already, and I don't need to tell the people here who are involved in biotech startups just how difficult, uh, you know, the uh, work, work this is. Um, but we wanted to start off this presentation or the day with um, with uh, uh, keynote addresses from two individuals who founded biotech companies and have been very successful doing it. So they 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 overcame those challenges and uh, and created that what both are now public companies. Uh, the first one is uh, Sam Bio, and I would like to ask the, um, the, the um, uh, Mr. Mori, uh, Keita Mori, to come up to the uh, to the stage. Um, Mr. Mori founded uh, Sam Bio in 2001. Uh, they also were received um, a, a an award from the Japan Society of Northern California back in 2011 uh, as part of our U.S. Japan Innovation Award Symposium. They were actually the first winner of that award. The, the American winner, by the way, the counterpart was a, a small little company called Tesla. And so Tesla and Sam Bio were the two winners of that uh, in that first inaugural year of our symposium. It's still going on, by the way, and it's uh, we just will have our, our 14th uh, symposium next uh, July in Stanford. If you're in the, the Bay Area in the mid-July, please come and, and join that conference. But uh, I give it my plug. That may please welcome uh, Keita, Keita, Mori, Keita, Keita Mori, the CEO and founder of Sambio. So, Minasano, Konnichiwa, Sambio no Mori Keita to Moshimas. Eto Kyo wa Kyo Tsugo ga eto Ego da to Moshimas no de, chotto koko kara wa Ego de itte mitai to Moshimas. So, so um, let's see, where should, where should I start? Um, I don't have any slides today. Um, um, as Larry mentioned, um, yes, I'd like to start off here today. Okay. Um, I would like to, first of all, congratulate every single one of you here today. And the very reason is uh, Larry already um, you know, told about this, that uh, they found a little company, Sambio, 12 years ago, back in 2011. And after four years, they brought a lot of good luck to us, and uh, we made progress, and uh, we were able to make the company IPO in 2015. Uh, Tesla was also a little company, maybe a little bit bigger than us, and uh, they have uh, made a, you know, breakthrough in the uh, motorization of the electric car, and they've been doing great. But um, we are somewhat behind Tesla, but once we realize our vision of uh, creating the brain regenerative medicine, I believe that the, we can make as big of a difference, if not bigger, to the uh, patients and uh, the society. So uh, Japan society has a very good sensor for good companies and uh, uh, congratulation, and you've done the most important part of bringing luck to your company. So um, I can end my talk here, but I would also like to maybe extend uh, another 10 minutes. Um, so I spoke with Ovi uh, last month, and uh, I got really interested. Um, Ovi uh, is originally from Romania, based in the United States, helping startup ecosystem in the United States, Romania, 80 countries. And now he's willing to you know, chip in to the Japanese ecosystem. How gracious is he? So, and after talking for a few minutes, uh, he said, Keda, we're looking for some speaker who has lots of experiences, um, and share some challenge, many challenges. So I replied to Ovi, are you looking for entrepreneur with scars? So I said, scars? Yes. So I said, reluctantly, yes, I do have, and we do have scars. And uh, uh, we can share um, any of the insights that we have. Um, sorry, I didn't talk about what we do. Uh, maybe a little bit about the background of a company. In 2001, um, I and uh, uh, university, a college classmate, Toru Kawanishi, two of us got together with zero biotech experience, but we had the confidence of making something great. 
And our vision was to create a new field of uh, medicine, something. And we didn't even know what we were going to do, but we started anyway. And that's why we have a very loose name, San Bio, meaning uh, Mr. Bio. We didn't know that, that we were going to brain regeneration then. Anyway, so um, we started actually in Berkeley, California, and tried to, what we tried to do was to, uh, we knew that there were great technologies in Japan, but somehow there was no good commercialization path. So we said, United States provides a great infrastructure. Why don't we too become the accelerator of this and to make a business. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. And uh, in terms of back to scars, um, you might know SAMBIO through terminology called a SAMBIO shock. Um, this was uh, happened in 2019. Our clinical, our biggest clinical trial failed and our stock price went down to one fifth and uh, the trading got so excited that the trading broke the circuit breaker of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. And then uh, constantly uh, Nikkei newspaper came up with a nickname called a sound bio shock. So um, we owe a lot to our stakeholders, shareholders, patients, families um, that, that we need to you know, make sure that, that we need to get our product developed and approved and delivered to the patients. So um, I am still with the scars, but um, I think I can talk some of them today. And I plan, um, um, so, um, and then I also wanted to share one scar experience uh, as an example. So this is something that I think we can talk about now. In 2008, um, after working seven years developing this product, research, production, regulatory, and everything, we were still a small company, like uh, 10 or 15 people. Uh, but uh, we got to a point where we spoke with the FDA in the United States. We um, had lots of discussions and came to an agreement of what to do to get the permission of us starting the clinical trial. So uh, we filed the IND in 2008. We were so confident that we threw out a party, the biggest party ever on that day, and we decided to wait for 30 days. And that's the rule with FDA. Unfortunately, FDA contacted us on like 28th day. And this is a bad sign. Uh, we got on a phone call with the FDA, and surprisingly, um, they actually, even though we agreed on what to do, they you know wanted us to do more, more animal studies. I don't want to go to you know details now, but um, so this almost killed us, um, and also that year, the. Uh, Nihongo Rato, Demon Shock, uh, in, in, in English, the uh, financial crisis of 2008 happened that year. Um, we had to get the product back to the truck, which took a lot of money and time. Uh, the VC investment stopped, literally stopped in 2008. So um, that was one of the crises we had, um, aside from the sound bio shock that I mentioned. The way that we went through this uh, crisis is uh, we actually decided to go to elsewhere than FDA. So we uh, looked into United Kingdom. We looked into Australia. We actually went to Australia, uh, had a discussions with the TGA, which is the FDA's counterpart. We also went to Argentina. So. If FDA is not, you know, convinced, let's go elsewhere and try. Um, in the meantime, we started this, you know, additional animal studies. At the end, well, let's not go to the end yet. And then I mentioned about the financial crisis. We were running out of money, and uh, Toru and my Toru and myself were trying 
trying to do everything to raise the money. Our focus shifted from the VC to um, pharmaceutical companies or related companies. And uh, um, I remember two quotes that we got from the, uh, the advisor and the founding scientist. One of the quote was from our longtime advisor, Dr. George Martin, who was the head of the NIH at the Asian Institute and has been our advisor at that time for now almost uh, seven years or so. Um, you know, when we met with George, what he told us was that um, there is nowhere but to go up. And so uh, we were so encouraged by this, uh, you know, message. Around the same time, when we went and uh, discussed with our founding scientist, uh, Dr. Hideyuki Okano, the professor at Takei University, very famous, uh, as a founding scientist, he told us, uh, so Mori-san, Kawani-san, the Lehman Brothers failed. Somebody, we are still surviving. You know, uh, let's make every effort and the kiai, uh, the, the passion is the way to go. So we continue the road to contact companies after companies. And luckily, um, Fujifilm and Tejin uh, decided to uh, chip in and uh, formed a corporate partnership and the saved. We're almost like running out of money in two weeks or so. But uh, with those uh, partnership, we were able to survive and the animal study completed and uh, FDA gave us a green light in 2010. So when the Japan Society gave us the award, we had not even treated a single patient. We were very, very early, uh, but yet they found us and uh, they also encouraged us. Um, so, um, lastly, um, in spite of the spa, uh, scars or um, challenges, um, I and we continue to be really excited. We have the opportunity to get the uh, product approval for brain regeneration. Um, we filed the submission finally last year and the agency here in Japan, EMDA is now reviewing. Uh, once this goes to approval, this will be the first ever brain regeneration drug on the market. Japan, US, Europe, you name it. Everyone, this will be the first ever product. And uh, with this excitement, uh, you know, I think we get excited day after, uh, you know, uh, every day. Also, I think we, get encouraged by the, you know, people that we work with, um, patients, families, um, shareholders, partners. Um, sometimes they gave us appreciation, they help us. Uh, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank um, everyone uh, who helped us uh, along this way. We have not succeeded yet and uh, we need to get their product approved and uh, uh, deliver products uh, the worldwide. Um, so today, um, I plan to be here the rest of today. And if you'd like to know more details about my scars, please let's discuss and uh, let's get to know each other and uh, um, help out each other. Thank you. <laughs>